Howdy folks, it's me, Ekronos. Today, we're going back to the flooded fields, y'all. Um, welcome to Pikmin 251. Flooded fields! Uh, we're returning here now that we have the access to the white Pikmin. Uh, we should be able to access this dungeon up here on the far left. Two dungeons, actually. Louis, fun fact, white Pikmin stay inside my hole for the... for whenever you need them. What's that? No, of course you didn't know that. Now start appreciating me more. Okay. <laughs> uh, the dialogue's pretty good in this. I'm, I'm you know. Sometimes I, I, I worry a little bit about dialogue in custom games. But uh, no, this one does a pretty good job. Does a pretty good indeed. Oh. We can get a, a red spray out of this. If I can land a single blow. Go again. Do it. Yes, we did it! Alright, nice. Congrats, team. Interesting, there's a way back over here. Which insinuates that you can get stuck over there? I don't know how, but apparently you must be able to. Anyways, um, yeah. Let's do, like, uh... Let's do 50 here, I guess. I mean, I have... This is this is kind of hard, because I, I, I genuinely don't know what I need for each day moving forward. It's been a long time since I've played anything Pikmin-related in a blind setting. Not that I'm complaining, of course. I find this fun. This is interesting. You know, you play the same games over and over again. Pikmin's 1, 2, and 3. It's nice to be uh, getting some ROM hack action. And the community uh, for Pikmin 2 hacking is, is only growing. As much as I would like to see, you know, a little bit of love for Pikmin 1, I would personally love to make a Pikmin 1 ROM hack. But I don't know how plausible that is. As, uh, I'm sure that when that time comes, if that time ever comes, that it would be a bit of a difficult task. Uh, it's probably not as straightforward as, uh, you know, editing 2D games. 3D games tend to be a bit more complicated. But, you know, we're here. We're enjoying life. Good old flooded fields. Oh, the map was edited to have that as well. This isn't in the original game, right? So if you edited the map to include this, then why didn't you edit the water? I don't know, I'm a little upset about that, to be quite honest with you. Take a drink of water just because of how I'm upset I am. <sighs> Delicious. Delicious indeed. What happens if I throw a Pikmin on top of this? Oh, cheat codes, baby! Oh, wait. Oh, this is... Oh, brilliant. That's what this is for. I understand now. I am now the knower of all things. All right. Get back to work. Wow, I pulled off like a majority of the guys on accident. Hmm. Yes. So Pikmin 4 is going to have dungeons. Anyone excited about that? Because I find that to be absolutely fascinating. Super intriguing. There's nothing... I don't think there's anything I can do on that side of the map. Super intriguing stuff. Um, makes me wonder if the, uh, you know, upgrade treasures are going to be returning as well. And, you know, Pikmin 3 had a few upgrades, but they were all boring resistances. Like, I want something, you know, actually interesting. If, if uh, you know, defeating a boss got it gave us access to throwing captains... Or the go here command that that would have felt genuinely rewarding now granted I'm definitely not complaining that we have those right off the bat because uh, go here command is kind of kind of a uh, one of those things that once you get used to it you just you just always want it just can't get enough of it I'm surprised there's no like enemy right here to fight like just something a little bit of nothing going on here all right so there's a dungeon and then I know there's a dungeon up there as well, correct? I don't know. 
I do, what I do know is that we need to get this map because this probably unlocks the uh, whatever the perplexing pool is. Yeah. Olimar, we've found some sort of small semi-sphere. Strange. Seems smaller than I would expect. Hopefully, it still has some helpful data. It also seems extraordinarily dense for its small size. I hope you can lift it. Oh, oh boy. I figured you made it smaller because we don't have purple pigment. It's still 70? Really? Okay, well, I was planning on, like, maybe doing some multitasking, but... I guess not. Wait, am I... I am missing a red pigment. Buddy? Buddy? Okay. There's not a whole lot to multitask over here, it would seem, but there, there's a little bit of stuff that we can do, so I'd like to do it. Wow, that was perfect, wasn't it? Intended by yours truly. All right, so first things first, I want these. I want that going. Uh, what's going on here? Let's see. Let's get some information. How peculiar. We're as far as we can get with these floods, yet there's a cave. That is so weird, isn't it? I detect peculiar smells coming from this hole. Uh, coming this hole, I think there's supposed to be a from there. If only I knew what smelling things was like. Hmm. Smelly things. What kind of dungeon is this gonna be? <laughs> Is this a, um... Is this where we get the, uh... The swift shoes? This is, like, cursed, by the way. Going up here? What the hell? Uh, okay. Yeah, we can go up here now, I guess. We'll be getting that spherical atlas soon. That'll be good. I think it'll be faster just to walk this way, won't it? Get back to base. A mother base. I haven't determined whether this guy's in the way or not. I'm leaning towards he's not in the way. Mostly because I don't want to deal with him. So that's sort of uh, that's how we do it. How much does this thing weigh, anyways? Uh, well, cutscene before we get into that. This game has a lot of cutscenes, I'm now realizing, now that I actually have to read them all again. Compacted Encyclopedia. I like that. This item indeed has the data I need for us to gain access to a new region. Well done. We will have to check it out tomorrow. Hopefully, we find a lot of new treasures. Yes. And hopefully, the blue Pikmin. Oh, this takes exactly 20. Okay. So how... Wait, this tree isn't solid? Are you kidding me? Pick hacker! Come on, look, look at this. Look, there's... I mean, it's cool to be up here and all, but... Okay, and then this is invisible wall territory. Yeah, I mean, it's cool to be up here, but like... Gotta try it a little bit harder, right? I do appreciate having, um... Just like... You're really getting the most out of each area, though. I do like that. So, like, even though this is the same area as the previous... You know, the in Pikmin... Oh, well, they're both red, I guess. <laughs> even though this is the Awakening Wood reskinned, you're really able to get as much out of it as... as you can, and I do appreciate that, actually. You know, jokes aside, obviously I'm not actually upset that that it looks like this, or that the tree isn't solid. It, it's all aesthetic stuff. The fact that this game even functions is amazing. The Crimson Delicious? I'm not a big fan of that name, though. I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. That's that's for sure. Not about sugarcoating things, alright? Let us keep up with our spray counts. 
and then uh, and then we'll head into the dungeon. So I thought there was another dungeon up here, but I guess not. It doesn't appear that there is. Dude, this place looks genuinely a lot, like very nice. You know, I'm a big fan of the cherry blossoms of Awakening Wood, but the um, oh, you can't even go this way. But the uh, what's it called? Uh, this color palette is actually really nice for this area. Even even if the other one is very fitting. Oh, I could be getting purple berries too, but I'm not. So, sue me, I guess. Yes. Two, four, that, that's five of them. Where are the rest of the Pikmin? Oh, I have the rest of the Pikmin. Cool. Yep. All right. And I guess we'll make our way to the dungeon. Now we have five and five. I shouldn't be too afraid to use sprays. If you know me at all, though, you'll know that I am going to be very afraid of using sprays and I'm going to be saving them the entire game. Uh. Yeah, no, but this is a really nice color palette. The, the cherry blossoms still uh, fall from the sky, so I mean, it's not like that was ever lost. This is just a really nice, warm color palette. And I dig it. It's very foresty. Wooden fortress. Interesting. Wooden fortress, huh? This could be a cool dungeon. This is already interesting. I already dig it. What are we? What am I looking at here? <laughs> Holy cow! This road is something special, isn't it? Oh god. Oh, that's a painted bull orb, isn't it? Well, you know what? Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Okay, what is that? <laughs> It's Nutella! <laughs> okay, sure. Was not ready for that at all. I wonder if the chances of spray drops have been modified at all. Would be interesting to know. Oh boy, look at that pixelated Nutella logo. Yep, that is Nutella. A luxury mud bath. <laughs> okay, sure, why not? Still more treasure, though. So, um, obviously this uses a vanilla aesthetic, vanilla textures and whatnot, but we have this very original... Oh god, you came over the wall, didn't you? We have this very original sort of, uh layout here so I'm guessing these are this whole sub level must be like a custom model like this room right I don't know how how that works like with making custom okay that what is that oh he's a race car come get this buddy how do you catch that thing? Do they wake up their parents? Is that what that is? Oh, you are done now, buddy. You've backed yourself into a corner. What the hell is this thing? Of all the custom enemies we've encountered so far, uh, this one is the only one that's like left me kind of speechless. <laughs> it's like a super speedy bread bug. But, like, the color palette, the choice of colors is what really got me. Like, I've seen fast red bugs and, uh, played a little bit of Pikmin Kaizo. I'm not playing that for the channel, by the way. That's not happening. But I have played it before. I've played a little bit of it. What the fuck, dude? I keep getting absolutely gobstopped. Well, there is a Toad Amiibo. As one of the treasures, I guess. Nice. Yeah, this uh, is a very interesting shape. <laughs> it's very, it very much was a custom model, it would seem. Where's the hole? 
The exit? The exit's over there. Oh, and the mini-map as well. I'm very curious, uh, because I got sidetracked, by the way. Very curious to know, like, what the process of making one of these sub-levels is, like, from scratch. Like, how you do Pikmin pathing and collision and, you know, obviously making the model is straightforward enough, but... Fungal parasites. Come on, don't say that about Toad. Toad's a broad, dude. Down the hole. Yes. But yeah, it's uh, something that I've always kind of wondered, I guess. Because for the most part, uh, a lot of these custom ROM hacks and whatnot do use, like, original assets from from Pikmin to... Oh man, this guy is a menace. Oh, these are just bull bears. Okay, cool. They're just bull bears. That's all they are. Just make a constant stream of Pikmin between you. Never mind, it's... Nope, nope, that's not happening. <laughs> oh my god. Can you even beat him? Is that his thing? Can you not, uh, can you not outweigh him? Well, if I do this, I can kill him. So, you just gotta hit him once, really. And, uh, this requires full concentration, as we know. At least they're not, like, super tanky. That would have been obnoxious. I think something more annoying than fast bread bugs would actually be bread bugs that have a billion HP. That is something I would not be excited to witness. Ooh, I really dig this color filter on this uh, sub level. I wish this was used in the original game. This feels more like nature driven. Can I even reach him? No, I can't. He is, uh... He is out there. We got Bowser brand matches. I believe this was called Flame of Tomorrow? What is it called now? And then we have this, which who cares what that was called, it's just a ring. I don't know what this music is. Sorry, I'm, I've been listening to the music, but I can't recognize it. I, maybe I haven't played the game that this is from. It's very possible. If you know the name of some of the songs that I don't catch, please put them in the comments, because I like that kind of stuff. I like knowing. Cardboard sleeping bag. Alright. Sure, sure. My Sorry, I'm pressing the whistle button. My, uh, my keys, my, uh, controller has been a little sticky lately because I spilt soda on it a while ago, like a few weeks ago, and while I have mostly cleaned it, uh, sometimes the buttons feel a little sticky and I have to go and clean it again. So it's like it only stays clean for a short time. This isn't gonna end well for those two Pikmin in the air. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Forgotten Offering. That it is. Never mind, it's gonna end just fine. I recently learned during the Pikmin 1 randomizer that in Pikmin 1, the baby bull bears actually required. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Kinda scared me. Uh. What was I saying? Yeah, they require like two direct hits in order to kill. I'm not using that candy pop bud, by the way, because I have a hundred Pikmin and it won't do anything for me. Had I known there were going to be queen candy pop buds in here, maybe I would have taken less than a hundred Pikmin. But I didn't know that, so... <clears throat> you know, hindsight's 2020. Forgotten Fortress 3. Okay. Well, you know what? This looks like a fun sub-level. A fun little dungeon romp, doesn't it? Uh, it's a great one to end on, I think, guys. So, next time in Pikmin 251, we'll probably finish the Wooden Fortress, and then we'll go to um, insert perplexing pool name here, and we'll have a great time. So, until then, guys, uh, have, a, have a good one. <laughs>